so far we've convicted 11 made members of La Cosa Nostra, including the boss, consigliere, capo, and members of uh, the Philadelphia family of La Cosa Nostra in this prosecution, and it's been highly successful. Yeah, well, we've got a, you know, we've got a, a bunch of them in jail. There's a bunch of them dead. Uh, some of them are disabled. Uh, it's just not a good line of work. John Stanford was sent to prison for life. He was blamed for two murders after his hitmen turned on him. Nicky Scarfo, also a sentence of life without parole. Fifteen mobsters died during Scarfo's tenure as head of the Philadelphia Mafia. Even Harry the Hunchback, Scarfo's archenemy, ended up with a life sentence. The Hunchback was betrayed by one of his hitmen and was convicted of murder. He was afraid he was going to get convicted and get 12 years, which he might have and he might not have. So he, he, he settled to become a witness. Had he come back and talked to me or discussed things, I didn't care why he did it. He did it because he, you know, he, he didn't want to go to jail. I don't believe in sour grapes. The mob wars in Philadelphia took a gruesome toll. Between 1980 and 1995, the FBI estimates that out of 50 full members or made guys at the top of the Philly mob, 29 were murdered. All in the name of La Cosa Nostra, Italian for this thing of ours. This thing of ours comes first. Comes before your family, comes before your kids, comes before your mother, comes before anything. If you gotta kill your own brother, that's what you gotta do. Because this thing is first when you take your vows. This comes first. Nick the Crow Caramondi confessed to participating in three murders, a requirement of his deal with the feds. I was afraid of the judge. If this guy hears about murder, 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 he ain't gonna let me go. And he gave me to work more time than anybody got. I got the most time out of everybody. He wanted to give me 50. He didn't even want to let me go. He wanted to give me 50 years. He said, if I can give you 100 years, I'll give you 100 years. But in the end, all the Crow had to serve for his three murders was 13 months in prison. When his time was done, Caramande entered the Federal Witness Relocation Program. He took up a new identity and began a new life. But his old hitman caution prevailed. Garamondi didn't trust the U.S. Marshals to protect him, so he dropped out of the program, deciding to spend his life on the run. Awful. <laughs> How do I feel? <laughs> Awful. You gotta live with, uh, you know, with one eye behind your head. You gotta watch yourself. You gotta be careful. I don't think he's particularly happy where he is. And if you talk to guys on the corner now, they'll say, well, good, good, because he's, he's a rat and he deserves anything bad that befalls him. Brenda and Philip Coletti also entered the witness relocation program. But Brenda was thrown out by the Marshal Service after she appeared on a television program. Now Brenda is on the run. I feel like a, a walking target. They don't take too kindly to rats walking around right under your nose. That's like a slap in the face to them. I've heard, you know, people on the street telling me, you know, uh, for me, God, they probably would get great, uh, a big thrill out of torturing me first because, uh, like I said, I'm in this area. They don't appreciate a rat right under their nose. It's a major insult. That is a slap in the face. And I'm here, and I'm smearing it in their faces. And, uh, of course, they want me dead, too. When you're a rat, you're a rat. Your name is dirt. That's it. There is no turning back. You are scum. <laughs> That's the way it is. 